Kendall Jenner has been involved in a number of significant scandals, including the Pepsi ad and her photoshopping for skims. Kendall is accustomed to criticism for cultural appropriation and has faced accusations of manipulating her body in the past, such as the most recent Photoshop issues surrounding Kim Kardashian's Skims Valentine photo session. However, some of Kendall's most notable missteps are being spoken about today. Kendall Jenner's Skims Underwear Controversy Kendall and Kylie Jenner gave their sister Kim Kardashian a huge favor by assisting in the promotion of her Valentine's Skims line in celebration of the 2021 Valentine's weekend. The three sisters revealed behind-the-scenes videos of the photo shoot after donning identical red bra and underwear sets. However, once Kendall's body was fully exposed in the BTS photos, followers couldn't help but vent their body issues and quickly accuse Kendall of using Photoshop. After releasing pictures for Kim Kardashian's skims, Kendall Jenner encouraged her followers on Twitter, but some people still claim that she'd Photoshop the pictures. Additionally, the followers started tweeting messages that ranged from fears of never eating again to sadness over one's appearance. The Huge Pepsi Controversy The advertisement showed attractive young individuals carrying vague posters that read things like, Join the conversation. The demonstrators are seen high-fiving, embracing, applauding, and generally grinning and laughing. In the pivotal sequence of the commercial, a white woman named Kendall Jenner offers a can of Pepsi to a police officer, who gratefully smiles and roars in delight. Pepsi was accused of stealing moments from the Black Lives Matter movement and was slammed for deprecating the emotion behind those who were involved in the protests. After the issue, Pepsi was quick to remove the ad, and Jenner received major criticism. Dispute over the Fry Festival One of the most famous people that supported the Fry Festival in 2017 was the supermodel. The biggest problem was that the wealthy participants, who'd spent thousands of dollars on their tickets, didn't receive the desired level of food, security, or lodging. After the festival was postponed, the organizers are now being sued. Kendall Jenner and the Afro Shoot for Vogue The 24-year-old model received harsh criticism for sporting an Afro hairdo during her Vogue photo shoot. The problem was that a black model should have been used for this photo shoot, as doing so would have shown more respect for the race, although Vogue afterwards apologized for any offense that her photograph may have caused. Kendall's promotion of Proactive caused a controversy. Proactive, a company that treats acne, and Kendall Jenner both came under fire for their affiliation and promotion. The accusation pointed to the fact that Kendall shouldn't be endorsing a brand she doesn't use. Jenner's complexion was reportedly the work of Christine Kidd, a Beverly Hills-based medical assistant, even though Proactive was given credit for the socialite's flawless skin and complexion. If you're enjoying the video so far, then feel free to hit like and subscribe for more content. Vintage Music T-Shirts Controversy as part of their Kindle Plus Kylie brand, the sisters introduced a new range of Rap vs. Rock fashion t-shirts, and they were promptly criticized online for their lack of touch and empathy. The shirts have their faces overlaid on pictures of their favorite performers, including Metallica, Led Zeppelin, and Pink Floyd. Tupac and Notorious B.I.G.'s faces may be seen on two of the more well-known t-shirts. When Biggie's estate submitted a cease and desist letter, even Biggie's mother got involved, calling the idea disgusting and disrespectful. In a subsequent post, the sisters expressed regret for their actions, writing that the designs were not properly thought through and that they apologized to anyone offended and especially to the families of the artists. They continued by saying that they are tremendous fans of their music. Therefore, disrespecting the historical figures was not their goal. All photographs have been deleted and the t-shirts have been taken off their website since. Kendall Jenner offended the ballet community at the time of the Pepsi incident, it appears that Kendall had previously encountered criticism about receiving flack for participating in a ballet photo shoot for Vogue Spain while dancing about in a tutu and pointed shoes. Many people were outraged by Kendall's appropriation of ballerinas since she didn't put in the time and effort necessary for professional dancers to further their careers. Her 10th anniversary Vogue India cover attracted a lot of criticism. Even though Kendall recently graced the cover of Vogue India's 10th anniversary edition, many readers and Vogue devotees were dissatisfied that an Indian model wasn't selected for such an important event. One Twitter user said that there are so many stunning Indian ladies out there, so why did Vogue choose Kendall, a white American woman? Her Met Gala outfit caused a stir. Given that the model has always supported female sexuality and nudity and been body positive, Kendall's transparent La Perla dress for the 2017 Met Gala pushed the edge, but it wasn't particularly shocking. She has declared her support for the hashtag free the nipple movement, and she's free to display her body any way she likes. Although many people didn't like that about her, we do. 
During the gala, Kendall received slut shames on Twitter for her attire. She was by no means the only individual to choose a dress that was referred to as naked, and she had every right to embrace the style. Shaming someone for their wardrobe choice or any other reason is never acceptable. Kendall, for her part, has shared many images of her outfit on Instagram, indicating that she won't allow the naysayers to have the final say on this matter. The Kardashian-Jenner sisters have also come under fire for allegedly stealing black women's hairstyles without giving due credit. In the past, Kendall and her sisters have been charged with cultural appropriation for a variety of reasons, including their frequent usage of cornrows. The sisters have been falsely praised for initiating new trends without acknowledging the genuine origins of their haircuts, and they have been accused of taking inspiration from black women while remaining silent on the hashtag Black Lives Matter campaign. For instance, it is incorrectly believed that Kim Kardashian popularized braids. African women have worn the hairstyle for decades. Although Kendall now wears buns or loose, wavy hair after receiving backlash for wearing cornrows in the past, her sisters are still spotted wearing braids very frequently.